to our YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing well and welcome back to a brand new video. Today is a good day. The sun, I can just feel it beaming on my face. I feel like I've waited for that for about a week. I don't know about you guys, but where we live, it has been horrible. It has been absolutely chucking it down. So I'm very, very grateful. Just a bit of gratitude to the sun today. Spring is springing, finally. Hopefully it's here to stay because I feel like it is sunny one day and then it rains the next day and it just doesn't know what it's doing. So hopefully it's here to stay. Anyways, today I am back with our monthly Primark haul. I'll be honest, I didn't actually get too much this month. I literally got one bag like this and then I've got a small bag and they were both done over two separate trips. Primark wasn't really pulling through. However, however, I say this, I watch other people's Primark hauls and they are finding some really, really really good bits so i'm just not sure whether it's my primark which for anybody wondering i go to the york months cross one don't get me wrong there was a few like bits where i was like wow is am i actually even in primark but no, there wasn't loads of that but then to be honest that's probably good for me because i've just done a big wardrobe declutter and i said this to you in that vlog i don't just want to buy stuff that i'm like hmm, yeah i like that i want to really like it to buy it so anyways so let's just get started if you are excited to see what i got in primark then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up Right, we're going to start off with the standard because if you've been watching my hauls for a while, you know the drill by now. But these socks, if you've not tried them yet, then guys, come on, I've been telling you for months, you've got to try these. These are unreal. They are so comfy, they're really cushioned and they go up past your ankles. They're really nice to wear with like leggings tucked in with some trainers. Um, I do think, did I get three of the same size? Yeah, I did. I thought the sizing's changed a bit because it, I got six to eight. And I'm a size 5. But I feel like I got the smaller ones last month. And they were a little bit too short. So I just got a bigger size. And especially when they've been through the wash a few times as well. Um, but you get three pairs in this pack. These are in the workout range. Um, and they're called sport socks. They've got arch support and they've got cushion sole. Which goes to show how comfortable they are um but i literally live in these socks i wear them all the time and the ones that i've had for quite a while now are starting to like shrink a little bit and go a little bit mucky so i just thought i'd pick up some more these are four pound each like i say you get three in a pack and they're just really 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 good socks like really good socks i'm gonna just go in a bit of a random order okay right the next thing that i got was some pajamas now I love this style of pyjamas more than anything. I just think they're so comfortable, but they also look really nice to look at as well. And I saw these in this like fuchsia pink. How nice are these? These are so soft and so comfortable as well. I feel like all my pyjamas more or less nowadays are in this style. Um, but for anybody wondering, they are the like wide leg bottoms. I am a wide leg kind of gal. I don't really like cuff pyjama bottoms, which I know is quite unpopular because... I've got a few friends who only like cuffed and don't like wide leg. So let me know in the comments down below, are you a wide leg cuffed or do you like both? Because um, I'm definitely wide leg through and through. These are called the boyfriend pyjama set. Love that. Um, and then the top is like the shirt style, you know, like with the collar and it buttons up. How nice are they? Absolutely stunning. Loved the colour and so summery as well. How much were these? Where's the tag? Can we find the tag? Here we go. These cost £15 and I picked them up in a size medium because nobody wants tight pyjamas. I actually, I'm sure I picked them up in another colour. Yes, it is. I've actually taken these ones out because I needed to try them on, but I also picked them up in this green colour. How nice. This probably shows you them a little bit nicer, actually, like what they actually look like. That's the top. So I got them in the same size and they were the same price. And then that's what the bottom looks like but yeah i got them in green as well okay let's put that one back down then i'm feeling a bit overwhelmed with bags next up i just picked up some of these um pads i always get these from primark but the past few times i've been i've not actually seen like the big packs that you used to be able to get for like 90 pence i never see them anymore so i'm not sure if these have maybe replaced them because these are 90 pence I'm not sure, but anyways, I picked some of those up because I've run out. I use them all the time for like my toner and stuff when I'm doing my skincare, but I also really like to use them for my wax melt burner. You know, like if you want to change the scent of the wax, put it on, let it get hot, put your cotton pads on, put it on the like the top where the wax is, and then it soaks up wax and then you can change your wax melts. Just a little trick. I got that off Mrs. Hinch. Um, the next thing that I bought, actually, I've never, never seen this before, but this is the Primark Crease Remover in the scent Balance. It smells... Um, like a bit like a spa vibe, I think. 
Oh, it smells so good. Anyways, this said £2.50. And this was one of those impulse buys. You know when you're in the queue and they have like loads of stuff on like when you're in the queue. And I saw this and I thought, do you know what? I need some more crease release because I've run out of all of mine. So I'll give this a go. So I picked it up, £2.50, got to the tail, she scanned it and it was only a pound. So I'll let you know what that was like, but it smells really nice and it looks quite nice as well. Um, I then picked up just two new pillar candles. Are they called pillar candles? This says lantern candles, but um, in our living room on our fireplace, like mantelpiece, we've got like two candle sticks. So I just needed some more to go on that. These are set oh, unscented. Mm, that's sad. Anyways, they were a pound each just for that. Right, this next one, I think I'm actually most excited about this because in my clean with me video, if anybody saw that, I asked you all where I could get like a really small vase from, not like a big one, like a, just a small one. You know, just for like small bunches of flowers, like tulips and stuff like that. Um, and a couple of you said go to like Dunelm and B&M and places like that. However, when I was in Primark, I saw this ribbed vase. Now it's not tiny, but it's a lot smaller than the vases I've got. Anyway, so I saw it and it was on its own. It was the last one and I thought, oh my God, that is stunning. I really, really like that. It's exactly what I was looking for. Um, and then looked at the tag and it says, it was four pound, now two pound. So that cost me two pound. How nice is that? I really like that. Oh God. Really like it, she says, and then she probably goes and smashes it. Yeah, absolutely loved that. Next thing that I got was a new bag. I really, really, really like this. I've been in need of a new black bag because I feel like I just wear the same one all the time. Um, so I got this one. It's like croc print. Quite small, as you can see, but it's like, I think it's the perfect size. Um, and it's just got little handles like this. It's got a little zip compartment, but it's also got the um, strap. Strap? Body strap? What's that called? Am I being silly? What's that called? Body strap? You get what I mean. It's got that on as well. So you can like wear it like that, which I probably will do. I think that's maybe more night time. That's maybe more day time. But I really, really like this. It cost me £8 and I feel like this is just going to go with absolutely everything. You could wear it casually. You could wear it on an evening. I did actually want it in like a white or a cream as well. Um, I was with my sister, so we were looking around the shop to try and find one. And there was one like cream one on its own. But it was more like a yellow tone. It was like a... It was meant to be cream, but it looked yellow, so it wasn't it wasn't the nicest, so I didn't get that, but I just thought that was so nice. I'm literally going to wear that all the time, I already know it. Okay, last few bits in this bag. So, I always tend to go for these now when I go in, I'm not really sure why, I just find they're good to like, you know, if you've got makeup on your hand, just give it a wipe and like wipe the foundation off your lips and stuff. Um, but this is the Twin Pack of Vitamin C Facial Cleansing Wipes. Two packs for a pound, you really can't go wrong. Um, I don't really use these on my face, it's just for when like I need them, like like I said, to wipe my makeup off my hands and stuff. But yeah, they're my favorite ones. The next thing that I picked up was a new Carmex because I really, really like this lip balm and I saw it in this new scent, which is Peach and Mango Burst which peach, mango, I love any kind of scent like that. So I had to pick that up. I then picked up a new mascara to try because I'm in desperate need of a new mascara. And this is called the Wonder Lash. It was £3.50. It shows a before and after. And the girl's eyelashes look tip top. It says longer looking and defined lashes without clumping. And it's a slim and flexible rubber brush. So I'll let you know what that's like. But that was £3.50. And then the last couple of bits in this bag. I saw this which is like a cream blush. And I thought it was a really nice colour. I'm not sure if you can really see that. Um, but I've never tried a cream blush. I don't think. I'm sat here probably like yeah you did remember that time. I don't feel like I've ever tried a cream blush and if I have never tried a good cream blush so I keep seeing everybody using cream blushes nowadays before they put the powder on so I thought I'd just give it a go it cost me £2.50 lovely colour it says it's got vitamin E in as well and it's like I felt it was quite a nice applicator so yeah again I'll let you know what that's like I like to try out Primark like makeup because you guys know a couple of my favourite makeup products are from Primark um, next couple of bits, I just picked up some new sunglasses. Absolutely loved these. They're very similar. These ones are just a bit more rounded and these ones are square. Both cost £3.50 each. So let me try them on. Oh, These are the first pair. What do we think? Love them. I mean, I'm saying love them, can't see them, but I liked them in the shop. 
and then these ones are the second pair very 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 similar aren't they like i say one's just round one's just square but yeah they were 350 each and then on to the little bag which to be fair has not got too much in the first thing that i got was this beautiful pink racer back top now you guys already know my obsession with racer back tops they are my favorite style of top to wear but i just thought this was really cute it says take it easy I loved the font, it's like a bubble writing, it's in a paler pink and I just thought that looked so so nice for summer and for holidays and that cost £5 and I picked it up in a size small. And then last couple of bits, so I saw this, this was in like the workout section but I thought this would just be nice to wear in general. Um, I thought it would be quite a nice travel outfit as well, um, just put that there. But is this a unitard? I think that's what it's called but it's in this beautiful black ribbed material it is so thick like the quality of this is amazing it's such a nice thick material i picked it up in a size small but oh no i didn't i got a medium why did i get a medium oh i don't know why i picked up a medium i definitely should have got a small in this but i'll just have to try and shrink it in the tumble dryer or something not that i have a tumble dryer my mum i'll have to ask my mum to try and shrink it in the tumble dryer i don't know why i got a medium anyways it's just so nice it's padded here so you wouldn't have to wear a bra it's got like a um sports bra like inside so it's got like an extra layer it cost 10 pound which i thought was such a bargain i thought this would look so nice with like an oversized shirt in the summer or the spring um or like i say for the airport i just thought it was absolutely stunning they had this in so many colors as well they had it in blue orange turquoise bright pink luminous green like some unreal colors but i knew for a fact i wouldn't wear them um, and i know that the black would go with anything because like i say i could just bang on any color shirt and it would go with it but i just thought that pair with some chunky trainers and a nice oversized shirt would look unreal and then last but not least right this is a dupe i'm pretty sure this is like um meant to be a dupe of right i don't i don't want to butcher this is it pangea or pangea Pangea, I think it is. It's that material. I was blown away when I saw this. So this is a swimming costume. I really like the colour for when you're on holiday. I think it'll be absolutely gorgeous with a tan. But they did have other like variations of this. So they had um like a bikini. They had one where it like it was like a bandu, but it had like a tie. Um they had one where I think it was just like a normal bikini top, but you know, like a strap one. Um, they had another version of the swimming costume, but I really liked this style. And if they had this in a different colour in this style, I definitely, definitely would have picked it up. I'd love to see it in white or black. I would have 100% picked up more. It is such a thick quality, which we all want in a swimming costume. I picked this up in a size medium because nobody wants a really tight swimming costume. Where, you know, like, it's like, you know, like when Park has that, stuff wrapped around it it's like digging it nobody wants that so i picked it up in a medium absolutely love it like i said if they had other colors and i would have absolutely picked it up in more i just thought that was stunning and i thought the color would be really nice in summer as well with a tan like i say when we're on holiday but anyways that is everything that i picked up from primark this month like i say not the biggest haul i've ever done but did pick up some really lovely bits i do feel like i'm missing out because i keep seeing everyone else's hauls and they're buying like some really really good stuff my primax is not really pulling through at the moment anyways i really hope you enjoyed seeing what i picked up from primax this month if you did then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up as always thank you so so much for watching and we shall see you in the next one bye <laughs>